My name is Ethan Malden, and today I'm going to be discussing how to calculate the um, specific heat or the amount of heat released by a, within a system. So it's just a basic formula. The formula is Q equals MCAT with the Q being the amount of heat in the system, the M being the mass, the C being specific heat capacity, and the delta T being change in temperature, which is final minus initial. So I have a couple practice problems. So the first one is a seven gram sample of copper with this specific heat capacity is heated from 38 degrees Celsius to 67 degrees Celsius, how much energy is used. So we're looking for Q, you go to the formula, Q equals MCAT. So then you're gonna plug in the mass, which is seven. You're gonna plug in the specific heat capacity, which is given to us over here, 0 0.0092. And then you're gonna plug in the change of temperature, which is final minus initial, which is 29. When you plug all that in your calculator, you're gonna get 1.8676. But due to significant figures, we're gonna round it to 1.9 calories of heat. That's how you solve for Q. Um, all of these formulas are basically gonna be the same thing. Just plug and chug. But I have another problem here. So a 14 gram piece of iron released 61 calories of heat and experienced a temperature change from 35 to 12 degrees Celsius. It wants you to calculate the specific heat capacity, um, which is C. So we end up with this being what we plug in. That's our Q, that's our mass, that's our change in temperature. So to get C by itself, we are going to isolate it. So C is gonna equal 14 times negative 23 over 61. And then once again, you're just gonna plug that in. 14 times 23. So you end up getting the specific heat capacity is negative 5.2 eight and that's how you do it you just manipulate this equation to solve for whatever the problem's asking you you plug everything else in and make sure you get the significant figures right